Now the next command is the mesh control which is used to create similar missiles over periodic phases. But before using that command we are going to delete the previous ones. Because we are going to apply the match control over the arc geometry, we are going to simply hide the two cylinders so that we can have a better view over our arc geometry. Therefore, we click on the volume selecting command and while holding down the control key, we click on the two cylinders. After they both become green, we right click on them and then click on hide body. Now as was mentioned, the mesh control command is used to create similar mesh cells over periodic faces. Now the periodic faces over this arc geometry for example would be their cross section. Their cross section would be selected in the next slides. As you saw, we are going to create similar mesh cells over the two previous selected surfaces. But before using and applying the mesh control command, we are going to use the sizing command to create a different mesh cells over one of the surfaces so that you can better understand the difference when we use the mesh control command. For example, as you saw, we have selected a face sizing command to create a smaller mesh cell over the selected surface as you can see here. Now as you can see here, the mesh cells placed over the left surface of the arc geometry are obviously smaller than the ones over the right surface. Now using the mesh control, we are going to create similar mesh cells over these two periodic faces. As you can see here, when you click on the mesh control command, you can see the software will ask you for high geometry selection and low geometry selection, which would be the first surface which you've created your original mesh on and the surface which you want to copy the original mesh over. Next, if you click in front of the axis of rotation, you can see you only have one option, which is the global coordinate system. If you select the global coordinate system and then click on generate button, you will see that the software isn't able to create your desired mesh with the given commands. To solve this problem, we need to create another coordinate system. Therefore, we go over coordinate systems, right click on it and then go over new and then select new coordinate system. The key and point behind using the mesh control command is to have a coordinate system which the z-axis is placed somehow it becomes the axis of rotation for the periodic faces. For example, for the coordinate system that you can see in this slide, the z and y axis locations should be replaced. But as you can see here, the placing of the z-axis in the global coordinate system is wrong and that we cannot use it. Therefore, we need to create another coordinate system. We simply do that by first clicking on the surface selecting command and selecting the inner surface of our arc geometry. After selecting the inner surface of the arc, we click on apply button in front of the geometry section on the lower left side of the software window. Also, we need to change the location of Z axis so that we have the Z axis as the axis of rotation for our geometry. We can do that by simply changing the principal axis section. As was mentioned previously, we need to replace the z-axis with the y-axis. Therefore, in front of the axis, we select z, and then in front of the defined by section, we select global y-axis. After creating the needed coordinate system, we simply go back to the mesh control section, and then in front of the axis of rotation, you can see that our new coordinate system will become available. We select it. As you can see here, the both faces on each sides of the arc has a similar mesh now. 